Yo, man, we back with another video, bro. I ain't gonna lie. This right here is Tochi Furo, the cursed baby daddy. Y'all wanted us to do this video. I don't know why, but hey, we got some beautiful ladies. No cap, man. Y'all go ahead and introduce yourself. Let them know where they can find you at. Man. Hi, everyone. My name is Marisol, and you guys can follow me on TikTok at Marisol.acosta. Hi, everyone. I'm Maleka. I'm a musician from LA. You can find me on TikTok. Um, it's M A L E K A music. And then on Instagram is Malaika Music underscore. It's Two Faced here. Um, I'm returning after a while. It's Two Faced on all platforms. And go follow the TikTok. My social media last week. You can find me on IG at I am Lil Sil or TikTok at OMG Lil Sil. What up, y'all? It's Rose. Um, my Instagram is rogue underscore behavior. And we got another guest, man. Special guest. Introduce yourself, buddy. Man, y'all already know, man. Y'all already know I love this CJ channel videos. Go follow me on Instagram. Subscribe to my channel at Rainy TV, man. It has been more sure than me. <laughs> Does that baby look like you? Yes, no, baby. sir. Does it look like me, man? Mm. I don't know. How would I know? Yeah, I know about that one. In the case of five-year-old Megumi Toji, you are the father. Oh, that ain't your baby, Rainy. Ah, nah, hey. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I did. I deny your baby. Alrighty, ladies oh. and gentlemen, welcome to the Shibuya Trials. Why the f did I just say it like that? Let me start that over. Shibuya. Welcome to the Shibuya Trials, where we will be having not one, but two new challenges coming to the round table. Both challenges are hailing from a series that is absolutely popping off right now. And with the new ranking system we are introducing today, these niggas best bring the heat. As they come to be judged, will they make it? Or will they utterly fucking fail? Making his way to the stand right now, Challenger One. Coming in at around six foot two, about 200 something pounds of straight raw muscle and pure ignorance. He has already submitted himself into the Hall of Fame of Anime Deadbeat Dads. And he is competing with Gojo, making these holes fall to their knees. And I'm not joking about this. Some of these Twitter hoes need a little. Why he kind of fine though? Toji, Toji girl. <laughs> you like that? Y'all already know we got all like that Toji, in man, man. Like And it is now time to commence the Shibuya Life. Trials. Without further ado, Exhibit A. <laughs> Toji Fushi Girl. Where the Ooh. hell do I even start? No, fuck it. Let's go ahead and get the egregious shit out the way. The nigga sold his son. Mm. Yep. We ain't holding nothing back with this nigga. Bro said child support. <laughs> Fuck out of here. I ain't paying that bullshit. And the thing that makes it worse, he sold the little nigga to the Zenin clan. The clan that he does not fuck with because they discriminated against his ass. Like, <laughs> nigga, selling your son is crazy. But nah, the first time you even see this nigga, bro bro is out here gambling his motherfucker life away bro's partner come up behind him he like oh jared what's going on with your boy i see you out here gambling your motherfucking life away hey nigga you still unemployed man chill bro you know that unemployment check be hitting like a motherfucker nah. and obviously as we can see bro loses nah. and his parlay just went to shit that unemployment check do hit my nigga <laughs> where it used to hit i know that uh god dang that uh you know what i'm saying you feel me? The unemployment, what was that? The COVID check? Unemployment check? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, what was that? that the stimulus check? <laughs> the stimulus was just like the extra. The stimulus check hit, bro. I ain't gonna count, bro. And before this man leaves, he asks his Toji the question. Hey, uh, how your son doing? Megumi, yeah. Uh, uh, Megumi. 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 <laughs> I don't remember. Y'all know who you're talking about, bro, bro. Is this nigga serious? This motherfucker done forgot his bro, bro. son's name. Oh, my fucking no. God, bro. Holy fuck. Worst dad ever. How the hell you forget your own son's name? It ain't like you got like 12 motherfucking kids, oh, nigga. Oh, not Nick Cannon. One son and you I forget not Nick Cannon. Dear God almighty. Wow. I'm to call oh. CPS probably got to have with this nigga. Hello. Hello, this is CPS, Child Protective Hello. Services. Are we speaking to Mr. Fushiguro? Uh, 
Yeah. Outstanding. Okay, Mr. Fushiguro, as we can see on our records, it seems that um you have not paid your child support in about 48 months. Is everything good, Mr. Fushiguro? Uh, yeah. What? Son, I don't even know who the fuck you talking about. Um, sir, it clearly shows that you have a son on the record. Oh, my God. Um, Mr. Fushiguro, hello? <laughs> oh, Lord. Hello? Oh, oh, fuck, I gotta take a shit. <laughs> Now, ladies and gentlemen, this man mm -hmm. told you may be walking around and looking like a bum, but I ain't gonna lie, this man's smart as hell. So he has to hunt down this little girl named like Rico bomb. because she's a star plasma vessel, and she's got Gojo and Ghetto protecting her, and obviously that's two special grade sorcerers. So Toji puts a bounty on her head to mm -hmm. make a bunch of dudes come after her and make Gojo and Ghetto tire out. So Toji could basically get the jump on the ass when they MP bar low, because this is not Toji's first running with Gojo. Bro had to come prepared because back in the day, Toji wanted to go find out what's all the hype about this little nigga in the Gojo clan. So Toji was behind him trying to get the scouting report. But Gojo's old little ad turned around and he was like, Mommy, there's a stalker behind us. Enemy spot. Oh. This man Toji was shook. He was like, boy, ain't no way I should be invisible. I got active camo equipped. But even though this man has stealth 100 and no curse energy, bro still got spotted. So this man knew I got to tire him out before I sneak his ass. And what do you know? Later on when the mission's almost complete, Toji snitched this nigga. Oh. Bro was like, yeah, got y'all a little pretty ass. Ooh, you know hey, how was gonna love this. Like but now Ghetto ends up throwing out one of his muff and Pokemon. Looks like bro summoned an ugly ass oversized <laughs> Weedle. But Toji <laughs> sliced through this fat ass tapeworm like it was paper. And now we get to observe the first man that this man cooked. Gojo. Wow. Believe it or not, this sexy ass nigga got his ass beat. I know all the hoes was on life support seeing Gojo. Gojo get his ass whooped. So Gojo ended mm. up telling him, hey, bro, the bounty's off of her head, bro. But this man told you, told him, man, young blood, I took that motherfucker down because I set that bitch. Oh, my God. Ooh. Bro is a scammer. So Toji starts moving at buck wild speeds okay. with this freak ass physicality because of his heavenly restriction. But this man goes. Oh my God. Ah. And he said this man told you flying. Look at the ragdoll physics. But this did not stop this man at all. Bro is moving like Sonic on them bouncy ass springs. So Gojo said to hell with this and just flattened the entire area thinking oh, wow. he did something. But this man summoned a bunch of nasty oh. ass mosquitoes. Oh looking like my God. Yeah, that was nasty. And uses him as cover to sneak this nigga. Oh. 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 And then Gojo girls want life support. He started stabbing the shit out of this. Oh, bro, little boy, the him. fuck out of this nigga. If this was any other person, they would be dead. But nah, bro, say he ain't no fucking weight room, weak ass boy. So after Toji put this man Gojo on a poster, <laughs> meanwhile, Ghetto's with Rico, and I ain't gonna. <laughs> So then it starts playing this emotional last music with her backstory playing in the background. Like that ain't a red flag. And she like, oh my God, you're so sweet. Huh? Oh, I know I am. <laughs> Take my hand, shawty. Oh. Oh. Oh, dang. Oh, my you my all feel like that? Fuck out, man. Give me my oh. gun. This man told the shit out of this bitch right in front of this man ghetto. And this man told you was like, I ain't gonna lie, my boy. I was hearing all that shit, and I just had to stop you from embarrassing yourself. So ghetto got mad and told him to attack him with another Pokemon. Uh -huh. Shit, this one look like a variant of Gyarados. So it ends up slamming him down into the tomb. No but the attack did absolutely nothing to him. Bro has no scratches. And I ain't gonna lie, this next part is nasty as hell. So Toji starts explaining how he be moving with no curse energy and how he be using sneak. 100 without being detected and this man pukes so a cursed spirit that he keeps Ew. inside of his stomach that basically stores what? all of his cursed tools so oh. basically this nigga's inventory is located in or his stomach one. that's nasty work yeah, but you know what? if you really think about it bro really got a video game inventory so gato sends his oh, big ass cursed guy. dragon at him again and starts shooting these beams at him oh. but he starts quick stepping that's, the pose, the? jumps up slices the dragon in half and he's got this man Gato probably shitting himself because he's bamboozled. He is like, how's a measly monkey doing this right now? 
The water on this bridge, Gato pulls out his final attack, and oh, this man brings out the slit mouth Thank woman, you. asking, Am I pretty? Oh, Which old nah, you ain't pretty. But Toji's like, Nah, I beat you <laughs> ugly as <laughs> shit. Slices that motherfucker up. So then Toji started yeah. slicing up Gato, but the X marks the spot on his ass, probably gave him the loot no. chest guard, then 720 turned out and kicks the fuck out this nigga. These right fights before the bridge falls. And it was over for bro. Yeah. GG's. And look at this disrespectful shit. Bro just walked over to his body and just kicked the shit out oh of his unconscious God. face. He already like, did. That's disrespectful. Shit, nigga, with them big ass ears. Shut your trap, nigga. Yeah, and never raise up a bitch again. Shoulder. And you know what's crazy? Uh, After right, he finished the beating that ass, this ends up jogging his memory. And he's like, oh, I do have a son. Really, nigga? But later on, you after this, Koji delivers old girl's corpse over to the client, and she ends up getting shattered out like cell shout out 18. What? This nasty what? old ass looking nigga. Like, oh. Yes, yes, very good. Looks like the body's intact, and the bitch is not breathing. Excellent work, young gentleman. I will be sending you a bonus. Why? Tell them to bring me my money. <laughs> This <laughs> man told you is leaving, probably going to the dealership, going to buy the Hellcat. But he ends up seeing this man Gojo looking like a absolute fiend, a straight. How's this nigga bed. still up? Well, obviously, told you think he's tripping. He like, what, what the what? fuck going on? Sitting here fantasizing by laying you on your stomach and tune that big old red ass up and long in that pussy oh. tune. Pause. That's all crazy. That's OD. He's turning up like Kevin Gates. It's past Kevin Gates now. Nah, this P. Diddy. This is P. Diddy <laughs> action that we talking about. Okay. This is come past the, Kevin come Gates. The <laughs> Look, you come from the you come back from the dead, Aww. and that's the first thing you think of. That's crazy. Dang. This nigga is crazy. So after this man, Gojo just finishes yapping Ooh. for like five minutes about some bullshit out here explaining how he survived. Nigga, we get it. You're broken. Somebody for real need to get the patch notes on this nigga. Like, bro is actually busted. But Toji was like, ah, oh, hell no. I'm about to send your crackhead ass to rehab. Oh. So Toji started attacking, but it was futile. This motherfucker done unlocked Ultra Instinct. Bro said, bag your ass up, nigga. Red. <laughs> Mm. This man told you done got blasted. And bro is floating. What type of shrooms is he on? This is a okay. level of high that is just <laughs> unexplainable. But told you was like, ah, oh, <laughs> hell no. Nah. I ain't about to lose no pretty ass nigga. Oh, he started whipping the chain. But bro, just look Not at the this. Chain. Time has just slowed for bro. <laughs> bro said, we like, he did. What are you supposed to do about this? How do you fight this? I ain't gonna lie, if I was told you, I would have just gave up. There is no You're, point of fighting done. this broken ass nigga. But it was too late. Gojo hit him with the purple. Oh no, nah, this nigga's too sexy. Yeah, oh, you too sexy. That's sexy right there. And sadly. This That's man what he gets. Got a hole blown through him. But then Gojo come down and say, Any last words? Uh, fuck you, you pretty ass motherfucker. But also, tell oh. my son to be a real nigga like his baby. Later. Oh, no. Hello, man. How's it going? So, uh, your dad wanted me to come and uh, check up on you, man. Everything going good, bro? Oh, dad. Wait a minute. I have a dad? Is this nigga serious? <laughs> yes. shit. Do you travel? Exhibit a wrap up. Selling his son. Dodging child support. Trespassing. Scamming niggas. Attempted murder. Murder. <laughs> Attempted murder. <laughs> trafficking. <laughs> Exhibit B. Alrighty, ladies and gentlemen. It is time for our grandiose finale. Daddy's home. We now Daddy's shift home. our focus to 12 years later hey, on a gruesome Halloween night in the Shibuya district. Now, as we can see, all <laughs> hell is broke loose. Niggas <laughs> is getting f***ed up. But we shift our focus over to this old lady, her grandson, and Eno, or what I like to call him the shiesty sorcerer. Okay. So while Eno and her grandson are hey. holding hands, the old lady in the back is doing some damn witchcraft. She's basically a necromancer. So she ends up reviving Toji in her grandson's oh. body so he could use Toji's body. Nigga, what the fuck? 
You know what? I ain't even gonna what? lie to y'all. I do not know JJK's power system like that. You what? I can already hear the JJK fans typing on their fucking keyboards like, boo you, nigga. Yeah, that's right. Boo me, nigga. Hey, all I just know is the old lady with nigga la nigga la ba 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 and the nigga's back. But anyways, this man Eno tries to attack him. But Tochi takes his shiesty, punches him in the face, and grabs him by the collar and stares in his soul like, oh, fake ass gangster wearing this damn shiesty. Shit, <laughs> 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 dumbass up. Who blow off of the skyscraper? My God. Look at Itadori looking at bro like, oh, Brody, you got your ass beat and your shiesty snatched? Who could have done this? Oh. But here is when this gets place. absolutely insane. So the old lady like, oh yes, excellent work, grandson. Now go down there and kill all those sorcerers for granny. But her mm, grandson grandma, start twitching and glitching. Bro, and grandma, the he ugly as hell. bro turns <laughs> around and says, what did you say, nigga? But yeah, uh, this man is in full control oh, now. Dick. Bro's body is so damn strong, probably from the heavenly restriction. He basically just little bro the grandson's soul and snatched that nigga body. And then just look at this bro. Hell no. And just standing what? over her like, night, night, old bitch. Uh -oh. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh. <laughs> so after Toji just murdered oh. the senior. Like the pearls off her, bro. Off the grandma. Hey. Got her pearls. That grandma Literally. look like the goddamn thing off Man in Black, if y'all seen that. The dude with the roaches. I do know what you're Oh, I remember. I, I, I love Man in Black. Man in Black. Yo, yo. Grandma was violated. That's a violation. Citizen. Later on, Nanami, Megumi, Maki, and Naobito are trying to run away from Dagon in his bikini bottom ass domain expansion because they was getting their ass beat. But while yeah. they're trying to get out, a hole opens and a father finally came home to bring back that milk. Bring back the milk. Thing milk. This man Toji does is grabs Maki's yeah. weapon and starts tugging that shit like, give me that shit. And just yanks it away from her, like taking candy from a baby. And while he's walking towards Dagon, now Bito ends up realizing, oh, oh, sweet Jesus, Toji. And this oh, man is just walking arm? like a Terminator, a literal arm? killing machine. So oh, Dagon's old ugly ass looking like Squidward in a Mind Flayer fused started thinking, oh, he has no curse energy. <laughs> This is barbecue chicken. But my man was about to get cooked and served into a gourmet food at a seafood chicken. joint. So Dagon oh, turns to and shoots out this fat ass eel. But oh Toji God. slaps it and splits the sea like Moses. And damn! Pause. He hit this man so hard, he indented his face and lifted his ass 10 toes off the ground. Damn. So he sends him flying and starts knocking him down on this the water. Be up Mr. Mr. Krabs. With these nunchucks. He got this buff ass <laughs> octopus fight for his life. Hey, and then look at this, he ends up sending out these piranhas and one lands on his face, but he bit that. What the hell? You know how raw you gotta be to oh, bite a damn oh, piranha? Oh, nah. So then he hits him in his pregnant stomach again and he ends up free. trapping him and sending him on the water. And oh, a bunch wow. of piranhas start oh. nibbling on him. Then this fat ass oh, water bug nah. comes from the depths of the ocean and sends him flying. Oh, but Toji oh, shits water all the piranhas and tells the water bug, <laughs> sit your ass down. <laughs> and then this the little fight just got bug. brutal. Now they're on shore and Toji. He just starts walking the bro and just starts beating the shit out of him. Just hitting him over and over. He even wrapped up a boy and shot kicked his ass. <laughs> but then he started sharpening these damn nunchucks, ready to take the life out of man's bro said. Anybody down for some fried calamari? So Dagon hey, is a bit of a pussy and tries to do I, so he doesn't become seafood. But now he just stops him and Toji Hiya! jumps up and stabs him in the head. <laughs> and this is where Toji's voice actor turned back into his most famous role. <laughs> And now, ladies and gentlemen, after this man Toji turned Dagon into fried calamari, it was time for uh some father son bonding. So Toji looks at Megumi and just throws him out the window. Oh. And poor Megumi, because goddamn, it was time for some tough so That's a son. looking at him like, what's good, little nigga? Uh. Before I died, I hope to God you Buffalo. became a raw ass nigga. So let's test your gangster, young blood. And I know he ain't so know this was his son. But god 
damn people swooping his ass. <laughs> Look at him running at him. Bro started blocking his attacks with one hand and back ended him. Hey, oh, but man. Man, take. So then Megumi love. summoned the Rayman raving rabbits. And then this is where the animation was just cracked out. Bro stepped on the ground, got a bunch of debris from the ground, and basically made him bullets and started shooting all the rabbits. Out here committing animal cruelty okay. first to Octo, mm. nigga. And now the Rayman raving rabbits. Ray I know the Peter hotline going crazy right now. Then Toji just continued to beat the hell out of bro. He basically hit him with the He got a build in his head. Like, my yeah. lord, this giving me some bad memories. I remember I never failed to test again after my dad pulled the belt on me in first grade. Like, look at him, bro, even throw a truck coon at him. So then Toji ends up stabbing him, but then he bags off and just starts looking at his little shaky ass like, oh, no, nah, that's my boy. So then he started remembering how he sold him, thinking that it was the best form. in the dead hey, mama in the, the background, life, like, man. take care of me, oh. honey. Yeah. So then Toji says, yeah. yeah. Fuck that. Huh? What? I'm not paying that fucking child support. Adios, little nigga. Oh, Dang. What? He killed himself because he didn't want to pay that child support. Rather off himself oh than pay that child cops. support. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the end of our first trial. And with very valid. Oh my god, that's so evidence, sad. Mr. Fushiguro what is makes that? This with ease. Maybe he felt guilt. Oh my god, I wanna try. I feel down. like he felt good. One to go. When will it drop? Team, it was pretty awesome. I I think that's the part that I like the most. And then the granny was pretty scary. But the one of the craziest thing, like killing yourself for not paying child support. That's yeah. that was too much. Yeah, that's insane yeah. right there. So what y'all think about that? I, I think like I'm gonna have to hit up and edit some more. Yeah. At first, I didn't like that guy, but then at the end, I was like, okay, I kind of feel for him. Right. I was like, I'm on the fence. I'm on the fence about that one. Mm -hmm. Loki want me to cry at the end. Now you see what men go through with put, uh, getting put on child support now? <laughs> now I know. So we I never <laughs> believed in doing that, though. No, you ain't gonna put your man on child support? <laughs> no. Okay. Maybe the other ladies would do it. I don't know. I do it like it's a scam. You going in and out, Brandy? <laughs> oh. Is he good on y'all in? Or is he chopping up just on mine? I'm just going to be quiet because I'm not going to know. My Wi-Fi is trash, bro. Your Wi-Fi is shriven? Yeah. But anyway, man, y'all hit the light, hit the sub, man. You know what I'm saying? Go show these ladies some love, man. Fat Red Guy, man. I'm signing out. You guys have a wonderful day. Um.